Hey, what's going on, Cloud Scholars, and welcome to all those of your first time visiting the page. Uh, today, we're going to talk about Log Analytics Workspace. I'm going to continue this Log Analytics series. This is part five. I'm going to talk about data retention and really cost savings uh, within this video. So how do we go about doing data retention? How do we go about doing data exports? Um, and then also, how do we do a da da uh, daily cap on your Log Analytics Workspace? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm in my Log Analytics uh, Workspace. is the same one I've been working on throughout this series. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to this usage and estimated cost. So this section right here is it, it gives you um, analysis of you know how much you've been using um, over the last couple of like days or the last 31 days ex excuse me and, and then it gives you a recommended tier as you know this is for demonstration purposes i really haven't been doing much with this log analytics workspace but just making these videos for you and sending a little bit of data to it so nothing much is happening here um but in yours it might be showing a little bit different because obviously you're setting it up within your company so now we have things like daily cap so we can do a daily cap where we can say okay we're going to turn that on and we can set it to a certain amount of gigs so i can say let's say 60 gigs and then i can click okay so once it goes to 60 gigs then uh it will stop having data being ingested to the log analytics workspace um, but there, it does say that note that there are, there can be some latency in applying the daily cap. So stopping data ingestion precisely at a specific cap cannot be guaranteed. So just letting you know that, you know, Microsoft is saying is, Hey, even though you might say, Hey, we want it to, you know, 20 gigs or 10 gigs or whatever the amount, it may get to like 10.1 or something like that because of just the latency and things of that nature. Um, so that's what I want to talk to you about that. And then we could talk about data, data retention, right? So you can say, uh, 31 days of re data retention is included with your pricing plan. Long retention will occur additional charges. So you can uh, set this on the whole, a uh, log analytics workspace. Instead of it being 30 days, you can bring this up to, you know, 90. Um, then you can go to the full amount, which is two years if you want to. Now, another thing that you can do here is data export. So let's talk a little bit about the data export. So you can set up a data export rule. And how do data export rules work? So the diagram in front of you is really showing you just a small workflow how data export rules work. So you have your incoming data, uh, your ingestion pipeline, your data collection rules, or whatever the case may be, and it goes to your log analytics workspace. So the way you can have it set up is that you're, from your log analytics workspace, you can have it uh, two destinations. You can have a storage account or event hub. And you can set a certain amount of days um, th that you want for those uh, export rules to apply to specific tables. So back over at the portal, we can say a new export rule. And our export rule, we'll just call it rule one. It's fine with me. Oh, I had a space there. And then you could enable upon creation or you could just say, I'm just going to create the rule, but I won't enable it right now. But we're going to enable it at the moment. And then after that, you can do your source. So now you can choose which uh, tables you want to apply this rule to. So I can go here to all of these Key Vault stuff that I have here, plus some Azure Activity, Azure Diagnostics, etc. And then when I choose the destination, I could do Storage or Event Hub, just like our diagram stated. So if I go to Storage, I go to Cloud Scholars, and then what I'll do is I'll choose a storage account, and this is Log Repo storage 234 i don't have an event hub so um, i can't show you anything there but it's basically the same process so i click next and then it says hey table selected and then that that'll be my rule right there that's created for um uh, export rules and you see right here the status says enabled so that's just how you do a data export rule now, if I wanted to do um, something different, let's just say I didn't want to do data exports, right? Let's just say I am, I have tables set up within my organization and we only need the data for, you know, 20 days or 10 days or even 60 days. But after that, we don't want to do anything else with them. We don't really care. We're just like, hey, if the data is not there, it's fine. We only need it for a certain amount of time. Um, this is a, another way that you can do some type of uh, data retention within your uh, tables. So over here, we could come to this uh, right-hand corner right here, and we could just do manage tables. And in, in manage tables, we could say use default workspace settings, which I showed you earlier, where you can change it from the workspace settings. Or I could come here and say interactive retention. I can do and change the time period 
of when I want this specific table to retain the information on the Log Analytics workspace. And then you see here it says total retention period. Uh, it can say same as uh, retention, and then you could change this. So you could say this for you know a little bit longer. You could do it for a year or whatever the case may be. So you have your default options, your different options, excuse me, that you can apply on a table level. And what I'll do is I'm gonna leave uh, a link in the description where Microsoft you know talks basically. I mean explains the same thing that I'm I'm explaining right now. Uh, just a little bit more in detail, but that's essentially how you can do data retention and you can save costs for your log analytics workspace. So this is a short one, uh, part five. Uh, I hope that you watch the rest of the series. If you have not, please do. I have a lot of information in there where I talk about how to send data to log analytics workspace and et cetera, et cetera. So um, if you haven't done so already, please smash that like and subscribe button. Uh, I really appreciate if you do, please leave a comment. Let me know exactly what you're thinking, your thoughts, uh, how you feel about the video. And then also if there's an uh, area in Azure that you are having an issue with or comprehending the understanding and you, you want to have an understanding of it, you want me to create a video or perhaps you just want to ask some questions, I am more than happy and willing to assist you. So as always, the goal here for me uh, is to get you from scholar to consultant and from consultant to expert. Thank you and see you next time.